And here we are on the uh, grading time trial day for the 2011 Harris Group Corporate Pursuit. About half an hour away from uh, getting started. A few warm-ups. And warm-up uh, needs to be the operative word today. You may be able to hear in the background the rain slash snow hammering down on the roof. Rather chilly day. Yes, and this would be the reason why warm-ups will be very important. A little chilly out there. Harcourts hurricanes on the track here. They're not newcomers to this event, they've been around for a few Here's years. Here's the Harcourts team. Mike Cooper, their coach, there's a bit of experience out there on the boards. Malcolm Thomas, give us up. And John Murphy, along with Kirsty Brock, they are the Thomas. A bit of experience on the bike. And here are the defending today. champions. This is the YMCA. And the defending champions, away they go. And the second rider hesitated. Here's the ILT Heineken team on the line. The ILT and off the line. This is Y Hope I Health Services. Look out. Halfway through. And here comes Y Hope I Health. Oh. And with a 122.745, so they move into second place behind Fonterra. Great finish from them. And the coach is pretty happy. Have a look. There he is. Great ride, great finish. We've now got seven teams within a second of each other. And now the team with possibly the best theme music, the Benny Hill theme. For the Southland District Council. Final seconds, and now away. The Southland District Council away here. Right to Here's the council now. Second spot. Yeah. The final lap, only half a second outside the top time. To the clock. So one eighteen nine three six. So one eighteen nine three six puts the council second. Fonterra hang on to top spot, only by point five of a second. Oh, this is a good battle. Here comes Calder Stewart. Big Mike Toe takes over. They're in second spot at the moment. And Big Mike can get those legs bumping. Call to Stewart at the moment in top spot. There's nothing in it. They're in second spot now as they come to the line. They're going to go close. A second by half a second. So Fonterra's team, the time holds up. Call to Stewart into second spot. And here's Fonterra's uh, Richard Lawson. I'll just get him nice and close here as one comes off. <laughs> Might have to go down, Anna. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that, was a bit. <laughs> <Stung>? <laughs> that one stung a wee bit. <laughs> There's the power net team. Wait, Off the line. Goes the power net team. BNZ next away. So, group of cow cockies, number four RD. They look pretty good, don't they? It's a good start. Look out, there was almost a collision there, last switch. They're in seventh spot. Farmers going well here. Here they come to the finish line. Clock stops, 11th spot. Here's the uh, Police 2 team, Get Nicked. They're into the top five now. This is a big, strong finish from the police. A 122. Good enough for eighth spot. Cunningham Builders, Signature Homes. Away they head. Cunningham Builders, Signature Homes. Ah, yes, and now the floral shirts are back. As the 5 O's. Police 1 team. Second last year, lining up ready to go again in the grading time trial. Looking as good as ever. And here they go, off on their journey. Here they come to the halfway point. 
They're in the lead by half a second at the halfway split. 1.18. Fonterra's top time at the moment. But here they are, the beaten finalists from last year. Looking to go one better this year. And now it's handed over to Garth Cooper. And they are well up now. They're two seconds ahead. And with Cooper taking over, he should be able to stretch that out even more. So this looks like a dominant police team here. Cooper comes to the line. And Garth Cooper cuts the tape with a 1.15.461. And they're fastest by 2.9 seconds. They're laying down the gauntlet. There's H.W. Richardson. Uh, HW Richardson team one. Off they go. Just six teams left to go. One lap to go. And they're in fifth spot currently. And they come. With a 121. So that's good enough for sixth spot. Here's Preston Russell. They're in fourth place at the moment. Here's Preston Russell to the line. And they're in for sixth. 120, 462. That guarantees them in Division 1. Here comes Jackson Plumbing to the line. Cuts the tape. With a 121. Good enough for ninth spot. Division 1 for Jackson Plumbing as well. Three teams off remaining. South Roads. The Slipstreamers. Away they go. Final lap. Crowd getting in behind them. Sitting in sixth spot currently. Let's see how they finish. Need to beat 123 to make it into Division 1 next year. Or next week at least. And here they come. And a 119. They're into Division 1. South Road is the leg waxing. Andrew from More FM, slightly uncomfortable. Oh, the crowd want another strut. Just two teams left. Here's the second Frontera team, creaming it. An ultimate. And off they go. Need 123 to make Division 1. And here they come in to stop the clock. 127, so they're in Division 2. And here's the final team away. The team at Media Works, More FM. 123 to beat to make Division 1. Halfway split. Got a little ground to make up. And here they come. I don't think they're going to be enough to get a Division 1. 127. But they've got a 127. So they finish 30th.